You read the title correctly. I'm going to spend an entire wipe living out of a base that doesn't have any doors. This not only makes it really annoying to get in and out of for myself, but also makes it quite the confusing base to raid. The only way to get loot in and out of my base is by passing it through this tiny gap in the ceiling, committing F1 and respawning. Before we get started though, I want to quickly apologize. My recording unfortunately messed up for this video, so I'm going to have to use my Twitch VOD instead, meaning that my ugly mug is on the screen for this video. So yeah, today we're going to be living in a base with no doors. I've got a rough idea where, of where I want to build. I was going to build up in the snow, but I probably want to avoid this massive base here. So I'm not going to go up there today. I'm actually going to go down towards a dome in this area here. Look at all the stone nodes. The valley of the stone nodes. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Actually, I'm going to head to bandit camp. I kind of ran past it, but I'm going to head to bandit camp and do the do the missions to get my start, get a hatchet and get a crossbow. I actually have BPs on this server, which will help, but uh, an easy crossbow off the bat and hatchet will definitely help as well. So, What up, nigga? Why'd you call me? Wiljum? He thought I was Wiljum, bro. I've never gotten Wiljum before. No one's ever thought I was Wiljum. <laughs> what? Bro. Give me the hatchet. Doop, 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 doop. Oh my god, god horse. Oh my god, god horse. There is a man over there. There's another man over there. Am I going to get shot? I've done the, the crouch and jump. Is he going to kill me? Is he going to kill me? No, he's going to be friendly. They live right there. That's actually... Thank you. All right. I'm going to put a bag here. Because this is roughly where I want to build. Spawned in the snow. This is so far away. Oh. Oh, is this not TC blocked? Does this have a TC in it? The silver lining. The blessing in disguise. There is no way this has a TC in it. Let me get a tree. This is like a singular tree. Oh my god. Actual scripted. Well, if you don't get a tier 2, we got a tier 1. No, it is building blocks. Where? Oh, it must be in the honeycomb or something. Oh, I think it's in there. I think it's pixel bunker. Because otherwise, where else is it? Oh, I told you it's pixel bunker. Oh my god. Oh my god, the crude. It's actually loaded. Now what do I do, bro? Oh, dude, it's such a long run to the nearest safe zone. Got tier two as well. Dude, that's like a thousand crude. A thousand crude. So I had a really good start on me. The issue was I was quite literally as far away from where I wanted to build as I could be. Fortunately, though, I found a horse and headed towards the outpost, which was roughly halfway. But on the way, let me take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor. Rust Clash is an online gambling website. So this one's for all my viewers who are 18 years or older. There's a huge variety of cases that you can choose to open and the items have a percentage of what you can get. You are able to 1v1 people in case battles with whoever gains the most money wins. As well as this, there's a rain feature, which gives away $20,000 every week. There are daily and weekly leaderboard rewards. The link's in the description for you to go check it out. Okay, we're in the safe zone. Now we just gotta get to that mountain over there somehow. Actually, let's not recycle that. Let's make a crossbow nail gun. Okay, crossbow nail gun. I guess a metal hatchet and a metal pickaxe. All right, well, let's just send it then. <sighs> okay, we really don't want to die here. We want to get to where we're going and then smack down some stashes. 
This is the run, guys, that determines how well our wipe's going to go. This is such a busy area. Oh, my God. Just send it. Those furnaces are on. Oh, please. That furnace is on. There's a decent-sized base on top of the hill. I want to go to the other side of the hill. Okay, let's get a base down. I kind of want to suss the area first in case there's any big bases. Oh, hello. This does not look like a big base. Oh, shit, there it is. I'll go down the hill. Let's get some stone to build this base. Okay, let's find a, the perfect position. I'm going to go closer to the gas station. I'm better off running further to a bigger monument and having a closer recycler, I think. Right here might be the spot, eh? That base isn't too close. That base isn't huge, so it's not much of a threat, but it does have code locks. Yeah, I'm, I reckon this is the spot, eh? Okay, now I need to remember how I'm going to build this. I have it planned. This is actually a good spot. Now, if you don't know how pixel gaps work, basically you can create a really small gap in between the walls and ceilings that you can loot boxes through. And this is how I'm going to last an entire wipe without doors. Hello? I should have kept the boxes on me. Hello. How are you doing, man? Hello. They, they think I've locked myself in because they're there, but I've literally just locked myself in because that's my base. I am friendly if that is okay. I am I am solo, solo. Ah, okay, okay. I'm going to place these temporarily so I can get some shit in here first. Okay, so now we'll kill ourselves. And I'll spawn on the hill. Let's see how many there are and where they come from and where they go. These are the guys that were jump checking me and friendly before, I reckon. So they have the potential to be friendly and they have nothing. So they're not much of a threat. You, you, you're friendly? You're friendly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Do, you, do you live come, there? Come follow me, follow me. Come on, come on. The boys! They have no idea what they're doing. Oh, they have backwards walls, dude. They have backwards walls. They got no clue, man. There's four, five. First one is five, three, one, two. You're kidding, right? Ah, you tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, you tricked me. You tricked me. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. All right, I'll see you guys around. All right, I'll see you guys around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live around here. Okay, we can be friendlies. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, how many people in your team, eh? 15. 15, 15. You're lying. <laughs> There's no way this 15, 16. <laughs> You're kidding. You're pulling my leg. That's right. All right, I'll see you guys around. I got to get going, all right? <laughs> Catch you later, boys. Oh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. So we had some neighbors who were hopefully not going to cause us too much trouble. I successfully recovered my stashes and got it all into my base, then kitted out the base with the tier two and large boxes. Then I threw some extra sleeping bags down outside in case they were chopped up, then headed to the nearby river and grabbed some food to heal quicker when I respawned out of the base. Then I headed to the dome. Okay. Okay. The fuck? I missed. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so dead, dude. I feel like he has a gun. Where'd he go? <laughs> you can't shoot through that? Bruh. He's running. Uh, 
Um, I don't know why he went up. He seems kind of bad. Dude, I had the chance. I could have taken that shot when he was climbing up and made him push me. Probably would have been a better option. Is he seriously roofed? He just killed a deer. Now someone's bolting back at him. Where is this man? I nearly... Oh! Oh my... Oh! Where is the saw? There's no way the saw fell off. The saw must have slid down. Fallen off the edge here. Could have slid down here, maybe. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> yes, dude. Time well spent, yeah. Easy saw. Oh, shit. Oh, no, dude. That is a big group moving in. No, the boys. That's the group moving in with guns. That's the boys. Oh, dude, it was such a good area. Dude, look how big they're building. What's that, four by four? Okay, so let's be honest. The boys are screwed. Oh, dude, I'm in such a bad spot for them. They're gonna... They're at least a four man. They're there. My base is here. And the boys are in between. Look, at they've got such a good angle of my base. Oh, I might move, dude. It might be worth moving. So we had a problem. A relatively large group had moved in right next door and were bound to cause trouble. I went to the gas station to recycle my run from dome, but on the way I heard an unfortunate noise. They're getting raided. No, they're getting raided, dude. The boys are getting raided. Oh my God. Already? Shit. Come on, dude. Oh, green card. Dude, the thing is I'm next and it's almost certainty. So sad, dude. These guys just moving out of nowhere, raid the boys and now I'm probably next. Look, you can hear them shooting their pissy little revolver shots. Oh, are they fighting back? Are they on their roof? There's no way that's them fighting back. Depot that real quick. Oh, oh, oh. I'm conveniently crafting low grade. At least try and defend the boys a little bit. I assume they're Gonskis. These guys have armored door and shit. They are built. What? I couldn't even see him, dude. What? It's really bad base. They only built too high to the shooting floor. What happened, man? Okay. Uh, uh, enemy, enemy. Did you get raided? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Where are they coming back with guns from? I help, I help, I help. Thank you. Why would you shoot at me? Oh, he didn't cut. He went wide. I don't know who to kill. Oh shit. I'm depoting this. This scuffle dragged out for a little longer and unfortunately our friend's base was raided. Well, at least one of their bases was raided. I figured I needed to move otherwise I was going to be next. So I went to farm some stone when I came across my friend's door camping a base. Or so I thought. Here's a saw. What the hell is happening? A victory. I am beyond confused. We are champion. Did you get raided? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is your new base? 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so confused, man. Okay, I want to move. I'm so, I'm even more confused. Because they were door camping, and then they just walked inside anyway. See, there's this base here, which isn't online. They could be an issue if I build up here. They will be an issue if I build up here. Like, what have I built on this little plateau here? This could be a really nice little plateau. A really nice cliff to build on. I think this is less likely if I build here to get raided than the base down there. Because those guys down there know that I live there. They also might think that Asian group lives there, which means they'll definitely raid it. See, this isn't actually too big of a base. This can't be more than a duo, right? So a duo is fine. I did a bit of farming and decided to move to the cliff near the large base up the hill. Surprisingly, the base building and moving of all of my loot went off without a hitch, and I hopefully had saved myself from an offline raid. To further protect myself, I did a bunch of farming and added some honeycomb to the base. Now, instead of the drop boxes being inside the core, I would simply depot into a set of boxes in the pancake layer in between my core and the outside. This would act as honeycomb, as well as giving me additional depot storage. And that was the end of a very successful day one. We started day two by doing a massive farm run, then a couple of road runs for scrap. I also hit this pig seven times with a bow and got six invalids, which is fantastic. Then I noticed a shop selling Thompsons and red cards for crude, as well as another shop selling cloth, which was perfect. So I headed to the bandit camp to make a couple of purchases. All right, no ammo. Oh, that's tempting. If I die with this Tommy, then I can't craft another one, though. There he is, down there in the valley. Okay, well, now they know I'm here. They're coming up here now. Ah, oh, shit, dude. I want to hook right. Oh, there's an airdrop. I didn't even realize. They have two in their roof waiting for the airdrop. Shit. I'm getting pushed by two guys. Oh, they're not with them. They're not with the guys on the roof. This Thompson guy might be in his own. He sees me. Oh, shit. This is a 2v1, I think. This guy just disappeared. Where? There he is. Dude, how is this guy keep disappearing? Sound like finishing shots. I think custom one. He got custom. We got three extra guns from that. We got a SAR, custom, and Tommy. That's what we needed. We'll take it for sure. Let's go do that train tunnels run we we're planning on doing. What? This is him. This is him. That's one of the boys from the group, I think. How am I alive right now, dude? Now that I had some spare guns, I did a train tunnels run and recycled at the gas station for some more scrap. Then we met a new friend who was going to become very important in this story. Woohoo! Horse! No, my horse! No, no, my horse. Praise, man, I want it. Okay, bro. I'm... Bro, what? 
Where is door, bro? <laughs> Doors are overrated. Where do you live, man? I have a house over there, bro. Where? 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 There. Look. Show, show, show me, show me, show me. Yeah. Is this your house? Yeah. Look. Ah, uh, very nice, very nice. You like it? Oh, very nice, very nice. Mm. Look, there is some house. Look, look, I show you. There is a house with no door, bro. No door, bro. There must be a door. There must be, there must be. Goodbye. What? No, 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 sorry, no, 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 I no kill you, I no kill you. After meeting our new friend, I ran to the closest fishing village and bought a boat, then headed to the underwater labs. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 100k by the end of the year. Also, join the Discord where we do rust skin giveaways every week, completely free to enter. The link's in the description. I did a spot of fishing, threw my airdrop, then swam to the surface to wait for it to land. Then I was met with a bit of a predicament. Shit, cargo just spawned. It would be huge. It just spawned. I'm almost guaranteed to be there first. It would be a massive run. Shit, dude. We got to. We got to. I'm sending it. We're doing it. What are we getting? That is trash, but can't complain at the moment. C4. Dude, the amount of armored doors I'm getting that I'm just throwing away is kind of ridiculous. Two C4. Okay, now we need to prioritize what we take. Kind of want to do this here. I'm about to get off the boat. Like, my exit's literally now. Anything I need from that? I got this run home successfully, then went back to the boat, which someone had unfortunately found and taken some of the loot. I got all the good stuff though, so was happy with this run for sure. I now had the scrap to craft a tier three workbench, then recycled some components for a lot more scrap at the supermarket. Because of this scrap, we were on track to do a pretty big explosives raid later today. The whole time I had planned on raiding the group who had forced me to move and raided my friends. However, this plan quickly changed when another group volunteered instead. Okay, gonna get myself raided. Tori just farmed all the nodes around here though for me. Tori's back. Oh, Tori lives there. Tori's online. Tori's on alone right now, as a solo. I am friendly, friendly, friendly. Please, I don't want to fight, man. I am solo, man. I have to build a shooting floor. I need to farm wood and expand as soon as I can right now. Farming wood's going to be tricky now because he is online right there.
With the base next door online, I decided it would now be time to make a shooting floor on my base. The thing is, without doors, I would still need to be able to access my drop boxes which are on the roof to get loot in and out of the base. So I was going to use the invisible ladder trick, where you place a ladder inside of the honeycomb and are able to climb the wall from the outside still. Of course though, doing all of this building wasn't going to happen uninterrupted. Oh fuck! Alright, here we go. I've got a lot of stone on me. What is that? Push it. These are different people. Really, man? He's so bad. I'm worse. I thought he was so, I thought he was dead, dude. It is Tori. Damn, he had the full shebang. He has not killed me once. I shouldn't have said that because now I'm just going to get shit on by him. But he has not killed me once. Dude, let me just farm some trees. Dude, he's really bad. Oh, there's two of them. No, I'm dead. Fuck, dude. Well, now they're asking for it if they're roof camping me. Where did my gun go? Where did my gun go? Oh, it was on my body. It was on my body. Dude, these guys are such rats. Why are you roof camp, man? Come on, man. I'm solo. Give it to me, MP5. No, you're bad. You roof camp, you'd not get it back now. You could have asked before, but no now. You should not roof camp, man. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hey, relax, relax. Hey, hey. okay. Tonight, you bake, right, okay? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, no, no. So, a pair of roof campers threatening to offline raid a solo. I feel like that's reason enough to raid them first. And if you weren't yet convinced, take a look at this. Oh! Dude, did they build up higher? They built up higher to roof camp me! Are you kidding me? These guys? Bruh! Look at him! You cannot be serious right now, dude. I took one jackhammer and a couple MP5s because the guy is shit. How is that none of those? Things? I went back to working on the roof, but needed to farm a bit more stone. That was when I ran into my friend Sue again. Bro, bro, bro. It's me. What yeah, happened, man? Me, oh, what a fucking dickhead. I'll get him. I'll get, get him. I'll get him. Yes, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Have a good day. Thank you, bro. This interaction here is important for the friendship developing between Sue and myself. I headed home and finished the roof, complete with its secret ladder entrance, and then headed towards the underwater labs again, but got a little distracted on the way. That's not even called in. That's a natural airdrop. Oh, shit. There's a guy over there. This is going to be annoying because it's going to be so open. Holy Guacamole, there's a lot of kids there. One, two, three. I think there's four Hazzy Revolver kids here. Dude, I'm going to get shit on by revolvers right now. Oh, 
Wow, what is that? Uh oh. They got a bolty? Oh shit, no, that's another goo, dude. Oh shit, he saw me. Cactus just saved my life. Long range v Bolty. Thompson should never win this. I'm going to take the Bolty home, I think, because it's going to be good if I want to take Heli or something. On the way back to Underwater Labs, I got killed by a group who was on their way to do a nearby raid. I still needed a rocket launcher, so thought this might be my opportunity to rat one. All right, well, there's a raid going on over there. What is being used is a rocket launcher, and that is exactly what I need. Oh, this is a fucking huge raid. Oh, shit. That's another person. Oh, jeez. There's a scrap heli there. Oh, my goodness. Get to the gas station. Oh, the boys are pulling up. There's a five-man countering. Dude, I can steal their scrappy. Dude, they just left their scrappy there. I need something to farm an animal with right now. A rock, something, anything. I need to steal that scrappy, bro. There's no way they left fuel in it. Look, they threw all their bags down here. Look at them all. <gasps> I can't use this. I need a mini copter. Should I crash it? Hello, hello. Oi. Hello, bro. Come with, come with, hello, quickly. Hello, hello. Quickly, come with, come with, come with. Why, why? Bring, come, come, come. Bro, wait, I need to play. No, no, I quick, 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 quick. I take my kit. Ah, uh, if you want to lose it, yes. <laughs> I come, I come. You're going to die. That's all I'm saying. Quickly. When I tell you to, I need you to scream, okay? Why? You will see, you will see. My mom is going to beat me, bro. No, no it's okay, it's okay. Just put your mic in your mouth. Bro. I stole this. <laughs> Get in. I, I, Get in. I, I am here. We're going on an adventure. Oh, I, I want. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, go, go. go. Why it's not take off? Bro, what, bro, what is happening? It's bro. not taking bro, off. You kill me, bro, 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 you kill it. Bro, why kill Get it? Get in. Bro. We're going on an adventure! I mean... Bro, go away. Bro, okay, okay. Bro, bro, go away. It's actually good that I damaged it. Where are we going? You will see! It's going explosion, bro. What do you mean? It's on fire, bro. I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> okay. I just want you to know that I love you! Have a good day, fellas! Go to Ulrich. No! Well, my friends seem to enjoy our little trip. And as a bonus, we got a few thousand sulfur for our troubles. I went back to the raid to try my luck, but got nowhere. So instead went for a train tunnels run to the bandit camp to buy a minicopter, which I got home successfully. For my raid, I wanted to fly over the external walls and raid from inside the compound. So the heli was essential to this. Now all I needed to raid was tech trash for the C4 and low grade for the explosives. However, after recycling an auto turret to get no tech trash at all, I turned to my friends and asked if they had any. Fortunately, they had a computer station which I could recycle and in payment, I gave them a Thompson, which they seemed very happy with. <gasps> thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank, thank you for the tech trash, man. I appreciate it. I will have a thank mission... I will have a mission for you soon, okay? I will come over to your base. We'll have a mission soon, okay? 
You will see. We're going to go on an adventure again together, okay? Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Have a good day. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Take it home safely. <laughs> I now just needed low grade, so I took my heli to the outpost to refine there. However, the server was a little bit laggy, to say the least. Holy shit, dude. Dude, what the fuck? I'm strafing. Dude, the delay and the server lag. Oh my god, I'm pressing. Bro, the server lag. No way, dude. So instead, I ran to the dome and cooked my low grade there. Now all I needed to do was cook and craft to get the raid ready, and you best believe I was going to take my friends along for the ride. However, while I was preparing, the attack helicopter came out, so I decided to try and take it for myself. This tree could not be any more inconvenient. Smoking yet? These guys haven't even got it smoking yet, dude. Come on. I'm I'm doing more fucking damage than they are. Here we go. Oh, well, here comes my rockets. Well, that's not in a great position. The boys are on here. This is going to be a lot of trust. We're going to have to, because I am not going to be able to get that without roof camping in. Yo. It went so far down the hill that this is going to be so difficult. It's so far down the hill that their green name tag's going to disappear. That's my teammate there. Kill him, bro. I killed him. I can't see them. No! Soldier down! What? I just hit him three times. No! Rush it, boys. Fuck! We didn't get the heli loot, unfortunately, but it's all right. I took it down in a terrible position. We now turned our attention to the raid. And after I had everything ready, I called the boys over to go over our game plan. All right. Yes. Yes. So we're going to raid the base, all right? You two are going to be the watch out, all right? I'm going to ladder you up to the roof and you're going to watch from the top. And then if anyone comes up, you're going to scream and shoot at them, all right? And you're going to let me know they're coming, all right? That's your job. Scream. You're going to let me know they're coming. All right, but uh, you take responsibility if we get beaten up, all right? Of course, of course. Just scream like you did in the helicopter, okay? Here you go. One for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. Holy hell. You're kidded, boys. Okay. I think we're ready. You know what this does? Yeah, it does uh, yeah. boom. It goes boom. All right. Have you ever jumped over a wall with ladders before? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think okay. I'll go first. I, I'm not sure. 
Okay, I'll show you. Along the way. Get to the top, push over the top, and then heal. So I'll eat some pumpkins, and then I'll go again. You gotta make sure you watch your health in case you're gonna die, okay? Simple as that. You gotta keep pushing up. Hell? Keep pushing up, keep pushing up. <laughs> watch your health. I've got I knew that was going to happen. Nice, nice, nice. I'm in. Yes! Alright, I want you guys to go up here. If you go up the ladder up here. And uh, you guys sit up here and watch out, okay? You watch if anyone comes. Let's do this, boys. Armored? Sheet metal. <gasps> That's a half wall? I might have wasted one there. That's alright. Sheet metal's good though. We're gonna have extra. Yep. Thought so. I have got TC. Just wait down, wait up there still. Holy shit. That's my kit from earlier. Bro. They did indeed. Roof camping Got dogs. There's a spare tier three in there. With the raid successfully completed and with a lot of profit in the form of resources, I took the boys to a place nearby to build them a new base and give them the loot. Unfortunately, nice things are hard to come by in Rust. Do you want some doors? Uh, yeah. These guys eventually got control of the base and I managed to negotiate with them to give it back to us. So in the end, the boys had their new base with a little less metal frags to upkeep it. I was now done for the wipe, so moved everything into my depot boxes and then gave it to them to put in their new base, hopefully setting them up for a successful rest of the wipe. And that was how I survived an entire wipe living in a base with no doors. If you enjoyed, you'll definitely like this video too, where I lived on an iceberg as a solo for an entire wipe.